refreshing to listen to a ride again. The band um, from the Shoegaze era that was very famous for albums like No Word Gone Blank Again until they went and hit the fan with Carnival Light. So, with that being said, me being a fan of the Shoegaze subgenre of music, which is almost what I would call like a mix between rock and electronic, my buddy Valentine, Cocktail Twins. So you feel all filling this gap. So I had to listen to their new album, This Is Not A Safe Place. And you know what? It fulfilled all the requirements, even if it wasn't quite as legendary as Nowhere or Going Blank Again. Some of the introductory uh, songs that were featured on it, like uh, R-I-D-E and Recognition and 15 Minutes, were all rather interesting and stellar in their own part. You could feel the sort of earthy rhythmicism and the sort of uh, drone type of sound that you tend to find in a lot of this subgenre's music. It was there, even if some of the songs tend to veer toward the typical alt rock genre of things, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I used to raise, I was raised up on XFM and MTV2 when I was growing up, back when I was living in Buckinghamshire and Essex. So I don't have an issue with that. But going back to where the point was, um, they did it again. I hope to hear more music from them. Glad to hear that they're going back again and uh, doing what they should have done instead of going the carnival and light direction or like what some of the other bands done. Like with Lush, they went rip pop and uh, things were never the same way again. At least L Lush learned their lesson with that EP that came out a few years ago. And right, they learned it with the Weather Diaries about two years ago. So with that being said, listening to Sleep and Mods and the Ride album, I will be hearing soon the album from Tool that will be coming out on the cusp of August and September. So feel free to keep on tuned. This is Skinny Ebert signing off. Until next time, keep on listening.